2017 has become one of the costliest years for natural disasters, from hurricanes in the east to raging wildfires in the west. There have been 15 events which have cost more than a billion dollars. But with totals from this year's hurricanes incomplete and fires in California still burning, this could surpass 2005 as the costliest weather year ever. Well, here to break it all down, Jeff Berardelli. He's the lead meteorologist with our West Palm Beach affiliate, WPEC. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Rena. So how can you break this down? How much costs are rising and, and what do you think is costing the increase here? Well, costs are going up dramatically. I mean, the amount of billion dollar events has doubled from an average of five back in the 1990s to an average of more than 10 now. Uh, and what's causing all of it? Mainly extreme weather. We're seeing an increase in extreme weather, but it's also because people really like to live in urban areas. They really like to live in areas that are vulnerable to storms like the Gulf Coast, like Florida, like the areas around the uh, coastline. And because of that, as these storms come in, they're impacting more people. One of the problems with Hurricane Harvey was that with an urban area so built up, the water was having a hard time seeping into the soil. Therefore, it was kind of running off and it was flooding areas that typically wouldn't flood quite as much. And so we're seeing a combination, kind of a recipe for disaster, more extreme weather and people living in more exposed and vulnerable areas. So can you say that there's like a region of the U.S. that's seeing more damage than others? Yeah, two regions, and we've been talking about them a lot lately, especially the American West because of all the fires. Fire season is now three months longer than it was before. It's almost all year round. And obviously the Gulf Coast. And in terms of Harvey, uh, you know, we saw a disaster unfold in front of our eyes. Uh, Harvey may end up tallying around $200 billion in damage just from that one storm. And if you look at back in 2005, the total uh, damage from the for the whole season was around 215 billion. So actually, it looks like Harvey may be neck and neck for the costliest season ever back in 2005. And then we haven't added in Maria and Irma, so on and so forth. So you can see uh, the damage here is going to be incredible this year. You know, you talk about the damage from Hurricanes Harvey, from Maria, Irma. It's not complete yet, but can you explain when you talk about rain damage in particular, how rain totals are impacted by climate change? Yeah, so rain totals are going up. We're seeing more downpours. We're seeing more extreme events. You know, Houston, over the past three years, they've seen three one in 500 year events, three one in 500 flood events. Uh, happening over the course of three years. So people wouldn't have necessarily bought flood insurance for their home because uh, they wouldn't expect to see flooding. Yeah. Uh, so flooding is a big problem because people do not have insurance for it. And that's really causing a lot of big problems because people have a hard time rebuilding their homes uh, when they just don't have the money to do it. Yeah, it makes sense. Why would you buy insurance if you don't think you need it? And this hits. Right. Uh, are meteorologists expecting to see more disasters like this in the coming years? There's no doubt about it. I mean, that's the thing we're most sure of. We're going to see a lot more extremes, more extreme heat waves, more extreme droughts. We're already seeing some of that. We're definitely seeing more uh, fires, especially in the American West. Hurricanes seem to be getting a little bit stronger. In the future, we expect there may be less hurricanes, possibly, but that uh, some of the hurricanes will end up being that much stronger, kind of like we saw with Irma this year. And in terms of rainfall, Harvey probably produced about 15 percent more rain because of climate change. So you know, when thinking about insurance, and we were just talking about that, we may have to reassess what a one in 500 year flood is because one in 500 year floods may now be one in 10 or 20 year floods in some areas. That means we're going to have to just reassess the way we build, the way we insure, so on and so forth. Extremes will continue to skyrocket mm. in the future. There's not much we can really do about it in the interim because we've built in a lot of heating and a lot of carbon dioxide, so the temperatures will continue to go up. And as long as that happens, we're going to spike storms. We're going to make them worse. Heat waves, droughts, sea level rise going up, so on and so forth. Uh, there's a lot to think about there. It's certainly not a great picture, but the only upside I can think of is I, I'm guaranteed to see more of you, I think, in 2018, Jeff. Uh, that is good for my employment, but not good for the rest <laughs> of the planet. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome.